You gotta help me out real quick with my thumbnail. We got 13 minutes before it needs to be on YouTube. I go through this every single week. I'll be writing the script till tomorrow. Most important thing is the title. Talking head setup. The grind is real, guys. Today's the upload day. I'm now starting to edit the tutorial together. This is how we do it. I was trying to keep it all cool for you guys, but there's no way the water is close to zero degrees back to sauna, holy <laughs> God damn, apparently the water is below zero. It's like minus 0 0.6 degrees Celsius, which is just so today I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes to what is my every single YouTube upload almost. I normally upload videos every Wednesday. During that week from Wednesday to Wednesday is when I try and come up with a new tutorial for you guys, for the channel. It's not only YouTube videos that I make, it's also client work. So, I, so normally I got like two or three shoots also within that week. And today I'm gonna take you guys with me and see how I juggle between all these client gigs and YouTube uploads. It gets pretty heavy. Hectic, not gonna lie. Ooh. So today is Monday and I just finished filming for this company called Mix, this chocolate bar commercial. By now you guys have probably already seen it, but right now what is still left to do for the YouTube video is edit the BTS together in a way where I also write a script to support the BTS. What I want to talk about when it comes to filmmaking and doing those commercials. And um, I need to do that by the day after tomorrow when it's my next upload day. Yeah, so now quick shower and then let's head back to the studio. Oh, <clears throat> it is 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Literally just sat down in front of my computer, going through the BTS shots from a previous shoot. And now what I'm trying to figure out is what I want this chocolate Nyx bar tutorial to be about. Like I said, I want to teach and break down something that I know about filmmaking. And when it comes to like filming all these commercials and stuff like that, let's waste no time. Uh, I know I'll be writing this script probably till tomorrow afternoon before I need Need to film the talking head bit, informational tutorial bit for this behind the scenes tutorial breakdown, whatever you want to call it. So without further ado, let's set the time for the YouTube video to come out so you guys know where we at all the time and let's tackle this baby. Oh, by the way, let me know in the comment section below if you're anything like me. Blank page, you just find it so freaking hard to start. I don't know why that is. Am I the only one? Let me know. Turn an idea into a video. From an idea into a video. From ah. most important thing with the video is the title. It is so freaking crucial to have a perfect title that just tells what your video is about. Shorter the better. Turn an idea into a video. From mood board into a video. I always create like a massive list of titles and then I go through them with my friends. I'm thinking either turn an idea into a video or turn your ideas into videos. I would add in a how-to, maybe like b roll. That, that's the best. <laughs> how I turn my ideas into videos? Yeah, there could be some there. small plastic thing just broke from my road mic so I can't really attach it to the C stand without my gaff tape but hey thank god for gaff tape right <laughs> yes talking head setup is ready very simple setup camera here I sit here and then this stool is normally where I just place my phone so I know where I go on with the script 
sit to the stool, wrap this thing, and then hopefully at some point I'll get to go home today. It's now 10 p.m., so uh, I'm feeling it, man. I'm feeling it, let me tell you. And how is it going, y'all? It is awesome to see you two back in. The grind is real, guys. So today's the upload day. Uh, last night went to, I went back home. I said talking head files to do proxies overnight. It is now 8 a.m. Just got to the studio. I got nine hours. I set a countdown clock for the new tutorial to come out. So I got nine hours and 48 minutes till it goes live. And um, I'm now starting to edit the tutorial together. Yeah, man, like this is how, this is how we do it. <clears throat> this is how I do it. I'm not sure how other people do it, but this is, this is how I do it. Okay, my bro, I just got here. Hello, young boy. Hello, old boy. <laughs> <laughs> my brother is here to film a bed commercial. They just delivered a bed over to the studio. Before you can continue, you gotta help me out real quick with my thumbnail. Oh, always, always. always. And after I'm done with the YouTube video, I'm just, yeah. I, I'll just lay down on the bed and you can film me there. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds perfect. That's exactly what the Hestens wants, wants as well, I bet. <laughs> yeah! Six freaking minutes and it's out. We got 13 minutes before it needs to be on YouTube. Me saying needs to be, it's kind of vague because I set the time for the video to come out, but you know, I'm all about keeping my promises. So first of all, I'd be letting myself down. That's the worst. Five minutes, five minutes now. What can I tell you? Every single week, I go through this every single week. It, I, I, it doesn't matter how well I plan this, like it always cuts to the very last second when I get my films out. I don't know why that is. Maybe that's just a YouTube thing. Also, hold on. Also, I love that because of this entire YouTube thing, I feel like on top of my normal work, all these client shoots and everything, I feel like because of this YouTube thing, I'm pushing myself further as a filmmaker and just trying to be more creative, create for myself. There was just one question someone asked me on my last Q&A on Instagram. What do you think most aspiring videographers should work on? And that is exactly it, create for yourself. And when you do create for yourself, you have all this freedom to experiment and do different things. Like this video right here, it's just a vlog, but it is like through all these b-roll sequences, transitions, or the way I cut from one line to the next. You know, like through these, I'll get to experiment and see what I like and what I think works in the form of storytelling that I wanna do. And then maybe later on, implement that with my client work or maybe that I'm shooting a short film one day, who knows? I mean, through these videos, I've learned so much about script writing, how to sell the films with the titles, with the thumbnails, it is, Everything that goes into this one man production as well, it just teaches you so much. And on the side note, if you're thinking about creating a YouTube channel, freaking go for it. I mean, you will learn a ton. But yeah, the video is now exported, so let's hit upload, baby. And once I hit save, it's gonna go live. There we go. Woo! And we are live, baby. Oh yeah. It's out, it's out, man. Don't like it, sub. Crazy. Okay, that is it for this, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna switch the camera to this one and call it a day, call it a week. I'll, uh, I'll be seeing you guys again next week. By the way, let me just say how convenient is this? Plus, I got my, oh snap, this is a nice bed, bro. Leave me a comment, what did you think about this video? Uh, and yeah, I'll be seeing you again next week. Cheers. Yo, you forgot the lights. Hey. You forgot the lights! Yeah, it doesn't work.